Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel, South Korean and Japanese gymnastics videos. Uh, as I'm recording this two days after the Olympics have been completed, the Olympics are finally done and I cannot be the sadder for it. Uh, it really was an iconic Olympic Games. We were in Paris, Paris, and it was just, it, it felt it felt like it, it was just as messy and dramatic as I thought it was going to be. Much more messier than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, I was like, I want to do a study on how messy these games were compared to others, because I felt like there were many more mistakes than there have been at any Olympic Games. Well, let me not say any, but that than there have been at most. Um, but yeah, so today we'll be talking about the women's floor final. Uh, Hebeka Andrade took the gold medal that she was craving. Uh, Simone Biles got the silver medal. And Jordan Childs controversially got the bronze medal. Um, I'm sure that you guys have been reading about if Sabrina Buenia or Ana Barbulsu or Jordan Childs, which one deserved the bronze. I think that they should just all get the bronze and have this be over with. Like, I really don't I don't know, this is just a whole lot, and I'm really getting irritated. <laughs> We're getting all of this stuff. It's, I don't know, it's kind of an irritated situation. But yeah, FIG judges do better. But yeah, anyway, so not here to talk about them, though. Uh, we're here to talk about how Kishirina performed in the floor finals. Uh, there were nine competitors in this final, and she got seventh place, which was a good performance from her. Uh, she did a silly bash to open up. It She has really gotten a hold on her silly bash. I don't know what has happened, but I'm really happy that she was able to do all four of hers very cleanly this entire Olympic Games. Um, she did her front full to front double full, which was, you know, it's, it's getting there. She went out of bounds. Uh, I think that she should just continue to do the front full to front one and a half to limit like deductions for being under rotated and more potential landing deductions until she gets a double full around because I think it's really cunt. Um, well, really cool. <laughs> uh, and then she did a triple wolf turn, which I believe was her first time doing that in competition, which was awesome. And then she did a m attempted memo that she stumbled out of, which was a shame. Uh, but you know, it's okay. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, and then she did a double tuck, which she had a, a large step on and ended with a double pike, which had a large step on bounding forward. And it was a great routine overall. Besides those <laughs> mistakes, she was very messy, but it was good to see her out there. She's continuing the tradition since I believe 2008 that um, Coco Surumi set of Japanese gymnasts making an event final at the Olympic Games. Um, it, it was awesome to see her out there. She did a great job. She has such a bright future. Uh, yeah, it was a interesting end to these Olympic Games. Um, I really enjoyed it, like I said at the beginning. Really sad to see it go. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my time. Um, so I'm just like, I'm here now. I'm just going to be watching the replays and stuff and hopefully trying to produce a little bit more content. So yeah, so happy Olympics. Happy watching. We're not completely done yet. There's still, I believe, five more days left until the games fully end. So keep on watching whatever sport. Have a good rest of your day night or evening, wherever you are.